Hello, my name is Brandon. I'm with Southern Hills Home Buyers, and I am going to be talking about how to sell a home if you inherit it or if you have a probate property. Generally, there's a few extra steps to selling a house if you inherited it, and so hopefully this video helps you navigate through the process if you recently inherited a home. So the first question if you inherit a property is, is there a will? If there's a will for the inherited property, it will make the process a lot quicker if the will's already been through probate court. So probate court right now in, in Texas generally takes several months. So if you do have a will and it has gone through probate court, then you're one step ahead of the process. If you have a will and it has not gone through probate court, then you generally will have to go through the affidavit of airship process. So if you have a will and you would like to still do the process and go through the probate court, that's totally fine. We recommend that you go the affidavit of airship route if you have a will that has not gone through probate court, just because you can get it done much, much quicker and you have the same result. So if you don't have a will, you go the affidavit of airship process, or if you have a will that hasn't been through probate court. So this process, it takes some witnesses and a few different things to get done. And generally, it's the only time that you would have a different result having a will is if the will stated that one person got more interest than other people. So in Texas, if you research, it shows based on the family tree, if there's two kids, then they both get you know equal ownership, assuming that there's no parents and, and different things like that. So if there's eight kids and one person is supposed to get 100% ownership, then this isn't going to give you that ownership. You need to stick to the will because it's gonna be different than the general way that the ownership is split based on the Texas law. So as long as you're selling with equal ownership based on the way it should be, affidavit of airship is a completely normal process. We do it all the time. First step is you have to identify two witnesses. The rule is these witnesses have to have known the deceased for 10 plus years. One of them has to be a relative, one of them has to be a non-relative, and neither one of them can be an heir that is gonna be receiving proceeds on the transaction. So we use neighbors a lot of times, especially if it's somebody that's lived in the same neighborhood for a long time. Neighbors are a great resource, and there's several other people, you know, family, friends, different people that can help out. So one relative, one non-relative, no heir. So it can't be anybody that's gonna be receiving proceeds on the sale. So we will get a questionnaire from the title company and they will have to fill out all the questions about the, the individual, the home, how long they knew them, all that kind of stuff. So after we get the questionnaire filled out, we send that and the attorney will prep an affidavit. And then the final step is the witnesses will sign the affidavit and it will be notarized. So once we get that done, then we will basically have completed the process needed to sell the home and we will then go to getting clear title and so this will be getting a payoff on any existing lien mortgage or any other lien so it could be a little bit more challenging if it's a really old lien that was by a parent or relative of yours that we don't really have the information on but we will work to figure that out it just sometimes takes a little bit longer if it's a lien but it's a mortgage from 20 years ago and we can't find recent statements or things like that. So that's the final step. And then after we've completed that, we will be clear to close. So it seems like there's a lot of steps to this. If you work with a cash home buyer, typically the companies will be able to help you with this entire process. We carry all this paperwork and know how to get this done in a very quick way. If you don't know the process, this can take a long time. And we also have individuals that have a will and the will is different as far as ownership or inheritance than it would normally be in the Texas law. And we have a probate attorney that we work with to expedite the probate process, but we prefer to go this route because it's just a lot cheaper, a lot quicker and a lot easier. So I hope that helps if you have a property that is inherited or going through probate or you're considering going through probate, hopefully this gives you a little bit of clarity. And if you're interested in talking with us more about the options that you have with selling your home, please click the link below to our website and fill out the web form and one of our acquisition specialists will be in contact with you soon. Thank you.